Hello, welcome back. We're going to talk about the Ring of Fire today, uh, from my interpretation. So if you don't know anything about my research, this is going to come as a surprise. In terms of the details, uh, you'll probably be in disbelief. Um, however, see my Hawaii playlist. Uh, because we're going to talk about Hawaii, its relationship to the formation of the Ring of Fire. Um, okay, so real quick, I'm just going to play... I look for some island music, because we're going to be talking about the Pacific Ocean Ring of Fire area. Seemed fitting. This is, seems to all be by Ron Galinus, who has their own... YouTube and it's their music, so it must be truly royalty free, so that's cool. Thanks, Ron. Uh, okay. Anyway, <clears throat> let's turn that down here. So, the Ring of Fire is just like a place of a lot of earthquakes and volcanoes, and the question is, why is that? So, maybe. You can look at like map of global earthquakes. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Depth. Hmm. Red, so basically everywhere, except for somewhat around, what is this, Scotian Arc? Scotia Arc, somewhere around the Scotia Arc. Um, Some in the Mediterranean, some at the western end of the Himalayas, and then the Ring of Fire. And, and I believe the Ring of Fire does not include the Indonesian archipelago specifically over here. Like, it, it, draw, it shows it here, but if we go like this, like some of them are going to cut it off. I guess it is part of it. Like this one, this one cuts it off. It's it's part of it, but it's also like like this image. Also, like it can get cut off because it's kind of not conjoined. Is my, what I'm getting at. It's like off to the side, where this kind of goes up this way around, and then continues over this way. Continues, kind of splits off there, but continues this way. Goes this way. Goes this way. I guess it kind of goes this way and this way and this way, so maybe there's some connection through. It's interesting, there's a lot of depth of earthquakes. Uh, around Fiji, where Current flows during the Earth's expansion process were focused. <clears throat> Long story. <laughs> okay, since we're going to talk about these details, I should probably go into them a little bit. So, the Earth expanded and does not function under plate tectonics. All continents were conjoined as a single landmass. All the continents were together at the time of around 541 million years radiometric dating <clears throat> at which point ancient civilization used weapons that physically attack the earth itself as a means of attacking one another but uh, forming a vortex that reached the cosmos and funneled energy into the earth in this location um, here 
in this location in east southeastern Pakistan, where this spiral is because it was a vortex energy. It was a literal storm of such magnitude that we can't even comprehend really in modern storms. <clears throat> to a point that it formed an actual nucleus. It wasn't just a vortex, it formed a nucleus within the vortex, <clears throat> which was called the Doom Shape. And this then caused undercurrents below the crust to upwell from this region and flow out in all directions. And then those currents interacted. Specifically, they reconverged <clears throat> in the region that would become the Pacific Ocean. But initially, they reconverged under Australia, northern Australia, right here. <clears throat> This was the initial converge point where this ammonite structure with a siphuncal in the magnetic anomaly map formed. Blue being places that current flowed in, uh, of this undercurrent, and pink uh, fuchsia being places where the current compacted material. Like if a current is flowing, it's going to push material to the side. And if there's multiple currents flowing near each other, they're going to push material together and that's going to form an actual like band of high intensity magnetic anomaly that is literally a compacted material. <clears throat> Whereas blue is where current flowed so it wasn't compacted it was created porous and void so it didn't it doesn't have the capacity to uh, transfer energy through it in the same way so it's essentially lower magnetic intensity <coughs> so that was the focal point and then as that was occurring, a current got into the center through, because essentially it formed a shell, an outer shell, and an inner shell, like a nucleus, like a sphere though. But then that shell was shaped when another current got into it this way, like the siphuncle, got into the shell and spiraled inside and shaped it into an ammonite. And as it did that, just like it can form these like compacted linear things, it can also form a compacted spherical things. And what happened inside of this location under Australia, where these undercurrents are flowing, where all of them were reconverging. There was one coming from over this way, from this way, here, from uh, from over here, through here, into it directly. Another one that when it was previously in a different position, coming from Asia, uh, cross this way through here, through the Mariana Trench region, as well as probably previously across this way, like at a previous time. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and then currents flowing from through Antarctica that were initially going from the mantle puncture hole location, as I call it, that instead of going westward through here, that then made it its way along the boundary of North America. Ultimately, at some point, that's how the current flowed. It was along this way, which is why the boundary of North America is the boundary, and all the boundaries are what they are. It's because of the actual positions that the currents flowed particularly and etched the continents apart because internal pressure was building. And so for the crust to 
break into pieces, it would allow the internal pressure to expand the system so that it could be at an equilibrium. But in the meantime, the pressure built up under the crust because the crust was still solid and rigid like a shell <clears throat> until it was fractured enough that it broke in pieces at the KT boundary because it, even though it began 541 million radiometric dating, the end of the Earth's expansion process of the flood, because this was the flood, was at the beginning of the Holocene, essentially, which kind of like phases into more real-time rate of observation, but during the process, large amounts of time appear to have passed, but it was all very rapid during the flood, of, which was this process. <clears throat> so there's a current going that way, but then a current that comes through over this way, down here, down this way, and then ends up going into South America, across, and through Africa, and cutting this current off. So it goes across, and this current then divides and goes down as well. So there's an up and a down. And the downward current goes to the East African Rift area and along the eastern margin of Africa, which is why it is the eastern margin of Africa. <clears throat> and then through Antarctica underneath it, where it then, through this region, goes across and into this corner of Australia when all the continents were still together underneath and runs into that same location <clears throat> which is probably the actual current that managed to get through and like create an eddy within the shell that was probably preventing currents from getting in like a big mound that currents couldn't really get into but then they got into because enough pressure got pushed into them into it and then it moved like it, it physically moved so this this circle ring shell that had an inner shell like a nucleus outer shell was over here where this circle is was like the center and then the outer shell was out here and then it moved like systematically in little pixelated movements like over here, it was there, it was there, it was there, I think maybe. <clears throat> over here is kind of like another pixel. And then over here, so it moved here, like boom, 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 maybe. Or here, 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 here. Maybe it did go this way, this way. Move from here to here, at which point the Antong Java Nui Plateau, Antong Java, Manihiki, and Hikarungi Plateaus, which were all once together according to the Antong Java Nui hypothesis at which point those got left behind as Australia like, like physically moved over here, then over here, then down like in the process leaving behind like these like ring like structures there to, that were imprinted as a, its motion uh, as the Earth's expansion process kind of like moved it and then it stopped moving and it moved it, stopped moving, moved it. <clears throat> Which if you watch like a Bihar, like a, a like rock flow in the, like a river channels, they'll, they'll like move, stop, move, stop, move, stop, move, where they're, it's coming down and then it, builds the thing, build, uh, stops moving. So behind it accumulates pressure as things build up behind it, and then it moves the thing that's like the leading, hardest to move thing. 
and then the pressure behind it sling, like slacks out because it's able to move this thing at which point then the thing no longer has the same amount of pressure behind it so it stops moving and then it, the pressure behind it starts to build and then it moves same general thing would have been going on here where essentially it's moving like a, in a decay sequence pretty much where it's f forming a nucleus like an atom see periodic table of currents that is then decaying to a point where it has a decay product of a sphere and this sphere then exits this way and goes over here to this location which ends up being also this location and then it ends up going all the way up this way to over here but not directly here not like along this path but it ends up interestingly like at pointing we have this these things like generally pointing or the the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain, the Emperor portion before the bend over here, is pointing generally at this thing, is what's, uh, what I'm saying, what I'm getting at. Like, it's interesting. What, that's kind of odd. It, it's almost like there's a relationship. Why, are they, why is it pointing at it? Modern science would say, well, because happenstance. <laughs> but modern science hasn't even really noticed this structure that has a like trident coming out of it with this thing it hasn't really accounted for this with that has a magnetic field looking thing and like a snow angel the snow angel has not been accounted for in modern science not been recognized just like the the eddy over here that starts at bighorn melon but spirals outward and it was slash ring structure that also has like a path that we can follow this way over to right there modern science has no like recognition of the scale of these structures like modern science is studying like here and then like here and they're like oh the magnetic field there is blah 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 and here and over here and like oh we noticed like this structure so maybe we'll study that but like it's really not noticing this structure and this current path that really starts up here goes across and points right at it pretty much as if there's a relationship and then if we go over this way it's kind of pointing at over here that then is where this is going on which if we follow this way this way what it boom Not a coincidence. So the point is, <clears throat> Hawaii, Hawaii, let's see. Hawaii was once a sphere. And we're gonna talk about its relationship to the Ring of Fire. Can you guess yet? <laughs> you know, like where that trench is. <laughs> oh, shoot. So, just for anyone who's not seen this before, these are segments of Hawaii. 
that have uh, the, the, the main islands of Hawaii that are above sea level <clears throat> are the only ones here, which maybe seems anomalous, but my interpretation is that, or is that they're the inner sphere, the inner core, like an inner shell, like a nucleus of a larger sphere that had like an outer shell. <clears throat> kind of like the thing under Australia where it had an outer shell and an inner shell kind of structure. Same thing with Hawaii, but as the sphere rolled, so the sphere quickly, it basically made its way along the, along North America from over there when over there and over there, when those positions were all the way over here, it, it made its way over here, and then it, up this way, up this way to here, and then it made its way up here, which was actually where this was, and then from here, it went back down this way, depositing its outer shell, and then it ran into resistance, relating to the Philippines and the largest caldera on Earth that dates to the same time frame as the bend because it physically ran into resistance and to a point where it caused this. Mind you, this is before the, the ocean floor is opening to the like distance that it's open. So it's much closer to North America. This is much closer to over here. They're on, like it's underneath crust being exposed, but as it's happening, that crust has a portion that the sphere is ru running along the margin of the crust here, all the way down to here, basically where the Philippines were running into resistance, being shoved into resistance because the Philippines were initially turned with the front here, in here, in this like little nook. This segment right here, and like here, was part of Borneo, and then the Philippines were actually connected into this portion along here with Sulawesi and North Malaku in here. So we had this segment just folded in and then Philippines here and then this all the way down here though. <clears throat> and then as this process unfolded, the Philippines, which were also, the Philippines were adjacent over here, uh, Sulawesi was in North Malaku or adjacent to California, which we can maybe look at some animations real quick. So this is the east margin of Australia approximately. And then the western margin. Ooh, that's a nice little do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> and then California <clears throat> with North Malaku and Sulawesi and Bangai Islands mirroring San Francisco Bay, Una Una Island mirroring Sutter Buttes. There's actual physical relationships here and to this. And here, like this path, this path here to over here. <clears throat> and then generally it was like this. Although Borneo, I'm still, still not 
It's a, it's a little confusing, the, the totality of it all. <clears throat> it's tough to piece the bat together an explosion, explosive debris field. <clears throat> Pretty much a planetary supernova seen from a different angle. Where it's not a star, but it's a planet, but it's the same mechanics unfolding. And then the bonds. So we got the Papa, Papua New Guinea bond breaking that's still visible in the ocean floor bond breaking down here still visible <clears throat> so it seems maybe it like bubbled inward just trying to think how a lot of pacific crust is forming while the crust the continental crust seems to still have been closer together than maybe would be uh, according to plate tectonics and modern interpretation like to suggest the degree of underlying of the pacific crust below continental crust before because there certainly is a degree of it happening like here where the Western Pacific was under Central America, uh, Florida, like Southwest US, where the mid Pacific mountains were forming underneath North America, abutting the resistance of North America, where this under layer was forming that was forming underneath North America while Australia was sitting right here <clears throat> attached to it through Papua New Guinea here with that focal point here though which then turned the system basically because all these currents are flowing out underneath the crust in all directions and then they start to converge, and then they start to create an actual eddy within that convergence point that leads to the ammonite structure. And that eddy physically rotates <coughs> the overlaying plate. So if we look at like this ammonite that I, the shallogram that I really am thinking about purchasing, really thinking about it, it's probably still there. There it is. Like, its top is physically, like, moved. This isn't uh, maybe the best example. I thought it was a little more obvious. Uh, some of them are really blatantly moved. The top doesn't overlay the bottom the same, or it's literally like this, like two wings. I think I saw on eBay one that was like that. They're not that common. That's why I'm looking to see if I can find one. Maybe a good example is actually this person has several shallograms. Oh, it, oh, okay, I thought it sold. I don't know, it sold. It gets segmented. <clears throat> it's like dividing. It's got one half here, one half here. Forming literally like a proton and a neutron. Proton being a place where the eddy is forming and a neutron being a place where it's just like condensed mass. No void space of the eddy. Then another mass, so maybe even like two neutrons or two pro protons. <clears throat> Let's see though. I 
hate to like not find one. Now that I set it and started looking. I'm gonna give up in 30 seconds. They do exist, so I don't really need to like, <laughs> smiley face, right at the right time, smiley face shows up, like, yep, yeah, this truly do exist, he's got a point. <laughs> There's one like doing a weird splitting, like the other one, but it was centered. <clears throat> Okay, I give up. I give up. They exist. Doesn't matter. I don't, want to, I don't want to derail the topic of the Ring of Fire too much. I know we haven't even talked about the Ring of Fire yet. Really. Not at much at all. We're kind of leading into it, though. Notice where it is. Like, there's Fiji. So that area, that is closely related. And then if we look over here... It really starts right at this fracture point, which goes this way. And if we kind of like go like that, kind of like the other place, let's see. <clears throat> okay, that's not pointing at it. Let's see what it is pointing at though. Let's follow it. Like, oops. Best that I can, like that way. There. What's that at? It's kind of at Hawaii, honestly. Or oh, really at that point. Let's measure from this corner to this corner. And just see, does that go along that line at all? No. But really, it goes this way over. Uh, Pacific Ocean floor geology map. Sure. Do, 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 do. Wow, that's cool. It's arcing back. <clears throat> oh my god, it's like one huge lobe. So my thought is, <clears throat> essentially, it exit the sphere, exits here, but that point is really over there. This shape. is because <clears throat> it was this thing this was there this was there and it just kind of like doop it went like this doop moved away because currents here were pushing against this way over here pretty much <clears throat> and like 
pushing off of it to move away. Um, <clears throat> but as it's doing that, maybe, <clears throat> maybe it's running the sphere. What I was thinking is it's literally taking the sphere over to this point. And then the sphere gets moved up this way. Up this way, 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 to up here. Where then it runs into... Like it goes through, at least from here, but I really, now I'm starting to think it starts out, like maybe it starts out like over here, literally. And like, maybe it even somehow went through there. I was thinking like through this area, literally went through here, like a huge sphere. That maybe rolled off over here, I don't know. <clears throat> or underneath here, but very close to the surface where it was able to like, Pull down the upper layers by going underneath the crust here. <clears throat> At which point, then it continued and continued and continued up to here, like going this way, and then it seems to have bent. Like then it starts going this way, and this is actually a straight path. To, to here, to along this way, generally, like at before the expansion of the Earth. It's more of a straight path on the pre-expansion Earth. <coughs> Is at least what I'm thinking. Um, where it's going more straight there, even though it goes kind of more actually straight here. And then more straight here. But it's kind of like segments that are <clears throat> it's like it's unpeeling it into different angles but then it goes in over here and uh, I believe this point where it goes in right here was over here so it went under here and made its way to here basically to here and then to here to here and then to here this is like the main point it was at over here at this center point or actually maybe that was here and then it moves over this way along these ones like it literally though goes along these ones it's not going away from the this segment of the crust it's physically moving along it but it's also at a time when the under crust is here so like what is here is this it seems, I think this is totally backwards with what plate tectonic says about this area of the, like, I'm pretty sure this is said to be moving underneath Asia. I wonder though, I'm gonna have to look into it because I really, it just kind of makes sense that it was running along this segment which was depositing material here until it ran into resistance over here and then was like slingshotted away in this process here which like pushed energy into over here maybe it maybe it got dislodged from the current like it's not just arbitrarily moving it's moving also in a current flow that is ultimately moving it so maybe the current itself continued along this way over here through this 
and push this boundary. And maybe uh, Hawaii rolled this way and the current did everything else over here and even that, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, it kind of it makes more sense to me at least uh, Hawaii did this which would mean that the Philippines were effectively over top of this position when it happened unless it's just like pushing forward a wave that literally propagates and then it erupts all the way at some other like resistance point that this was i guess it could do that that's crazy to think about like that being a mechanic of how systems function that's just like the like atoms, uh, as they move around, uh, subtle particles have this type of like undercurrent propagation of energy that then erupts out of a crust kind of thing. Totally possible. Maybe that's something to do with quantum, quantum tunneling. <laughs> So really, I just had the thought that the Ring of Fire was the trail of the Hawaiian sphere that moved out from underneath Australia, went this way. All, like, imprinted, though, like, as it's doing this, and that's the, that's the thing, as it's moving, doo -doo 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 -doo, even though it's going along this segment, and along here, along here, along here, along here, along here, the Pacific crust that it's going over is really starts here, goes over this way to over here, goes up this way, this way, um, possibly. Maybe, maybe this is where. I don't know. It's been a while since I thought about this. I can't even remember if I have a definitive exact trail that I've like zeroed in on. I certainly have some details. Let's see what do we got. Not that one. Oh no, I freaking even managed to stop it. <laughs> We're going, I guess, there. I don't know how that did that. We're like 40 minutes in now, let's go. It's probably already played, but whatever. I was looking for this. I know it looks kind of ridiculous. Um, here we go. Basically, because because it's on a smaller globe, it's hard to do. So I just took like segments and tried to piece it together. Like this is more so how it was like generally. Antarctica was attached over here. That segment was attached over here, which was attached uh, like this, more so like this. So, like this is not the best way to see that area, so I did it this way too to kind of show that area. I don't know why. I don't know what that's doing there, but <laughs> I think I need it to be over here or something. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, but what was cool about this is it kind of led to me sh like showing this like Kamehameha uh, Thunderbolt or like Arukin 
super fighter, street fighters kind of thing. Going through here. But then, like over here, was this is where it's a little like, what is happening? Because essentially, if I can find it, this is definitely not the totality of what I was looking for. Where is it? The cool image of Alaska for the, just for funsies. Magnetic anomaly map and some details. We went into that stuff not couple videos ago in underground science, but not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Same one. I know I have other ones. So much stuff. <laughs> no. Where did I already look here? Okay, one way I could do this is to just open Photoshop. Not photos. Photoshop. Oh, I just had this, I hope I'm not muted thought, like, oh no, I've done that before, it's pretty disappointing, especially when I'm, like, not really recording, and then I finally do it, it'll be pretty disappointing, demoralizing, I don't know if I'd record anytime soon after, <laughs> good thing it's not, sorry for the delay, how's everyone doing? I can't hear you, so that was a pointless question, I guess. You can answer later. But, yeah. Okay. Almost there. We almost did it. We're so close. Now the question is, can I find it? I was hoping it would just be visible. Open. Maybe? <laughs> no, I don't know where even that would be. <laughs> uh, wait. Shit. Okay, okay. Back to looking. Where might it be? It's hard to, like, think... Well, I'm, like, trying not to just have silent air. Um, I think I already looked at, like, a lot of these. I'm a little confused why it's not in here. It's just, I, it's probably on my Twitter. I don't know if it's saved. That might be the problem. Ooh, look at me being all prepared for that episode. How? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So pretty much a sphere going up this way. 
also the Atlantis. Let's see, see my focusing on Atlantis video in my live playlist, live videos. I've been doing live videos and I think it's a little, maybe not optimal for his like saving information because they're not like together. But I've been putting them in the playlist, so. <clears throat> but the, the idea was that maybe a current was flowing. Here. Into Flemish Cap that was here. Which I claim to be Atlantis. A water current, a flood current. That then I... I was saying maybe it was flowing also across here and then it's continuing across here to basically to Cusco to this area <clears throat> feel like it might have some relationship to like the sp maybe the sphere is going this way this way this way <clears throat> and the current from over here is deep down because it's cutting through so it's also like it's not just on the surface so when the sphere comes over here it literally runs into a current that's going this way underneath here to here and bends it off this way and just deflects its path that way which then goes over here, up this way, to run along here, which is connected over here. Like here, somewhere. Somewhere, I forget, I think it was there. It was connected there. Pretty sure that's what I've concluded in the past. <laughs> oh, so many things, I'm like, oh my god, I'm just losing it all. It's a juggling act that is like, Hard to do. There's a lot of information to account for and then to keep it in mind. Oh my god. It's a juggling act. But then going that way. And sh some reason it's straightened out from the. Because it probably went like more this way. Along here was probably more that direction. And then this way. I don't know. <clears throat> or maybe it cut through. The Antong Java Nui also has a piece in Ecuador. So it was certainly over in this area. So maybe Hawaii cut through it. It went down here, along here, cut through on Tong Java Nui at around 120, 100 and, yeah. I just Googled out of curiosity, when did the Ring of Fire form? The, I'm not, even, even going on Scholar, Google Scholar and like if I go like here, ring of fire like this, there's nothing really like about the geological age of the ring of fire. It's more just like, at least that's not, that looks apparent. Like it's going to give like an actual, like this age, this, like this portion formed at this time. And then this, then give like an actual... <clears throat> Some kind of overall mapping sequence. It might be because no one cares. In terms of play tectonics, it doesn't seem relevant enough of a thought. Like the thought wouldn't occur to someone in play tectonics, maybe to bother to do something like that. Really compile it. It might be that it's too large of an area. And unfortunately, science has kind of reduced it like the study of things to being very narrow <clears throat> like 
It's not common for someone to study an area the size of the Ring of Fire. So maybe there's just no one doing it like that. So they're all studying certain areas. At which point they just talk about that area and don't really give a more broad description where I can get an answer to this question. But, I mean, Wikipedia. Maybe we can go to Wikipedia and go to see what this is. Mesozoic Western Pacific subduction system significantly impacted North China and South China blocks along the East Asian continental margin and influenced tectonic, magmatic, metallogenic, and geomorphic evolution of the region. However, the dynamics and impact on the zone along the East Asian ocean continent connection zone remain debated. Here we provide a comprehensive synthesis of the state-of-the-art information from deformation analysis, magmatism, geochronology, tomography, and other fields from this region. We evaluate first the pre yanshanian pre-Jurassic final assembly of blocks in the late Triassic formation of the unified continental margin. Okay. Let's just go ring of... Let's see if we can... I'll just request, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Did we ever look at this Flemish cap paper? Which I've now downloaded three times. <laughs> Plate kinematics of the North Atlantic realm during the Mesozoic at 240, 160, and 110. So Flemish cap is separating from Europe. Like they're basically one unit before then. Like there is pretty much one unit, and um, it began to separate, but it really only separated at 110. And then we go over here, what were we just saying? The Ring of Fire Age, it's according to Wikipedia, but uh, it's almost like the earth was starting to like unfasten its, its buttons at one round 110 as this Hawaiian sphere began to roll under the crust and segmented in the Pacific the Atlantic was also experiencing like jolts of energy that were propagating in to really help the disassembly of the continents from a single landmass <clears throat> and then it broke apart at a 110 apparently to the point where it's actually like part of North America in the position it is it even is swinging over here like it was over here mind you I think this is Atlantis again it was over here so what happened to Atlantis it got flooded and sank to the bottom of the ocean and I mean if this was an island at 541 million radiometric dating. And then all of these things happen that led to the flood, including the sinking of Atlantis, where it was like utterly shit on. It didn't just like casually get currents. It got focused, focused beam of currents on it. 
to a point where it moves it and dislodges it from over here and repositions it over here. Like it was a shared electron, now it's like a, a hydrogen bond. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No. Did I really? add any <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate i was like i might just like only say i think the ring of fire was caused by the sphere moving so that's all it's pretty much the only additional detail i have to add to all my other hawaii videos um maybe i can come up with some other stuff as we go but it might just end up being like that's all i'm pretty much saying in the video that's not very not very like additive it's very easily debated at a, on the surface level if you, that's all you see at least just like the it's not a good look people looking to refute even though they're not considering the totality of my work they could easily see that kind of thing and be like why would i do that <laughs> No, like, I mean, if they, the thing is, I'm proposing things that sound ridiculous, but are just the facts. That's the sad, that's the, what am I, what if the world is ridiculous in some ways? Like, this, the true narrative is mind-blowingly different than what we thought. Then, yeah. If someone were to speak it, we would be like, what the hell are you talking about? In spite of it being true. Like, I didn't finish what I was saying about Hawaii. It may sound ridiculous. It might sound ridiculous. However... Although there's something like there's a stray A, this is kind of ridiculous over here, maybe, like in truth. However, five, five are still connected over here. And then four, four are connection points. There's actually a chakra here at four, which I shouldn't have covered up probably. But, uh, let's see. Still covered it up. <clears throat> Three, two, one, eight, seven, six. These these are the same lengths. They have this weird little circle thing on this side, not just the yellow circle. There's literally a little circle, like. Yep. I don't think it's holding. And then on this side, it, and down here has this little like cove looking thing. And then up here has this like singular thing, almost like it, it is the thing that's missing from the other ones. <clears throat> and they then conjoin on a sphere where the Hawaiian Islands which are only like these segments, but this is the crust that they, makes them up. Um, then the surface that we see was actually the inner surface of the sphere. Because it has all of this crust underneath it. That had to be Basically, as the sphere is rolling, it's depositing all this, like, under the, the outer layer of the crust, and then it's depositing the outer layer of the crust, and the outer layer, and the outer layer, and the outer layer, like, in, like a yarn ball kind of thing. <clears throat> but then, 
what that ends up doing is once it's unraveled all the way, the outer layers are deposited with then a thickness of the actual radius of the sphere, basically, to, from the outer radius to the inner radius, or then an inner sphere, sur uh, sphere surface of the Hawaiian island surface was forming. These did not form on the exterior of the sphere. This occurred interiorly, and then as it broke apart, it became exposed, and that basically set its age. So the, this broke apart very near the end of the process of the Earth's expansion. As this settled, so did the Earth's expansion process. <clears throat> and then they laid out, though, in a line, and this one's got this, like, W arms reaching out shape that's very, like, the core, like, the torso, the head, and then, like, the, the legs, the, the base, the, the support structure, I guess. as the like foot of the sphere where it actually had segments <clears throat> okay so this sphere though my thoughts are maybe it literally rolled along the boundary making the trench like especially I don't know if it would have done this though. Going this I mean it might have. Wow, it was over here though. Like layers that then moved apart. That were happening maybe atop one another and then they kind of fanned out. And it, and then we see like the older stuff and then the newer stuff over there because it moved over there maybe i don't know because really maybe like this is it's like a a divide oh, i'm way better that way <laughs> even though it's the wrong way whatever the the divide like maybe they were overlapped like, and then they started to divide relating to an like an eddy over here that was inter interacting with the overlaying layers I don't know if that's possible and then it kind of like healed between them I don't know that's probably not what happened although the fact that it is this V shape and I really like I'm certain it was once not a V shape and it was more like just straight in there and then it started to divide so maybe there is something to it. I don't know. I just don't know. There's so many details to consider and I'm all alone with no anything. Just fucked in some ways. <laughs> the world still disregards me. Someone told me I'm a malicious. My, this is a malicious account. I'm like, bro. I deal with enough shit to have fucking slander thrown at me, bro. Fucking noobs. Then I just gotta remind myself. Noobs gonna noob. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna be noobs because they noobs. They gonna, they gonna noob. Can't expect other than noobs gonna noob I just pissed off the circle 
The circle jerk doesn't appreciate me. <laughs> ah, the circle jerk doesn't appreciate me. They got their own little circle jerk going on. And I'm like, bro, I got shit to do. I ain't trying to play your stupid game. I can't even if I try because I'm saying you're wrong. I got the only way to participate is coming in with some new information that doesn't in any way interfere with your information then we can play nicely but since my information just disproves the hypotheses that the circle jerk is putting forth they don't want to hear it I consider the circle jerk pretty much anyone who was at Cosmic Summit. <laughs> I don't even know who was there, but you're probably part of the circle jerk if you uh, are there, were there. Not a, not as like a guest, but as a listener, but as a um, speaker. And then the listeners, well, you're listening to a circle jerk. A group of people who only want their general opinions to be validated in what they're doing. They don't want their conference to have people discrediting their bullshit. So, you know, you gotta play the circle jerk game. That's the same, pro that's the problem that I have, is I got, I got the real scientists who want nothing to do with me because I'm an alternative theorist just proposing the shit they have no concept how it could possibly be true. So, of course, they don't want to, like, consider it. How could any of those things be true? So, uh, so there's those people, and then there's the alternative theorists, who one would think would want to know the truth, but really, their objective is to just propagate what they're saying. And make money. Like, definitely a money-making scheme. Might as well make money while we're doing this. We got the popularity and other people like, oh that person's got the popularity can I join you circle jerk and sis <laughs> okay well no. you don't cut it you are not on my dick enough what is this I thought we were having a circle jerk and you come in here calling us out on it it's bullshit don't call us out on this bullshit that's bullshit Shoot. the problem is it creates artificial appearance of truthfulness and certainty and like compellingness of an argument when the arguments that would disprove what they're saying are not allowed to be presented in any platform it's a problem this is the only platform it can happen and i mean that's just until the world notices and then how long till my videos are just taken down on a whim probably not long although maybe i'd sue them legitimately <laughs> we're gonna play this game then i'll fuck it What fucking grounds? Fucking. People think they can't. I'm gonna fucking do it. I don't give a shit. Oh, I can't sue him. Oh, I the law said I can't. Oh, guess what? I'm still fucking doing it. Here's why. This is not justifiable. I will not accept anything other than compensation now. And my all of my content back up. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> but I'd have to be like popular enough. 
if I ever do get my research going, at least then I would be popular enough. Like, if they take it down because of popularity, then I'll be popular enough. Oh, this person's saying some ridiculous thing, blah, 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 blah. I, I, it's still on Rumble, and it started to go. That's all I needed. No fucks. Sorry, you just made it a little less convenient. Some fucks. <laughs> Not no, oh, he said no fucks. Well, he said no fucks, so... Someone's playing this in uh, some future litigation. I'm like... Objection, your honor! Out of context. Uh, I don't know the things. I'm gonna be my own lawyer, though. Uh, my own lawyer. Unless someone wants to represent me. One love. There's so many things to consider. I was just kind of documenting. Now we got it documented. Hawaii. I think I also considered at some point that I went this way. Like this was over here. Was over here. I went this way, ran into here. And then a long hair to go over to here. And then that made its way out this way somehow. Which was all going on underneath North America. And then up this way. It's so hard to say with certainty where this sphere went. to trace it like I, if it's so it's so and it should be able to be traceable like hey guys want to talk about testable hypotheses i know there aren't many of them out there because people propose bullshit that ain't scientific as ridiculous as it sounds totally testable Totally testable. There's so much data though that needs to be accounted for. That's the problem. It's really not testable by an individual any more than I've done like, and continue to do. But at some point, like, it's not up to me what is true. So, like, what are we? gonna conclude the truth to be if we ignore my research then we are gonna be fucking wrong <laughs> it's just a fact of the matter nibs oh man did i say that <laughs> sorry i got a little offended yesterday now i'm offended people who are like oh, i was listening to there no, i just an arrogant asshole yeah, shit happens, though, you know. What am I supposed to be, like... Just humble in every moment. Not like I'm, like, out in the streets. <laughs> sure, I'd do it in my own little corner where I won't shut up, but that's... Like, it's almost like a diary. What? What, I'm documenting... Like, scientists do, what are you doing? Just being a fucking pain in the ass. Oh, God. <laughs> like, HOA, Karen, Nazi, you know, whatever you want to call the thing that people do that is the thing that shouldn't be ultimately happening in society if we want to be, like... <laughs> do, do, you, do you really want it? I was looking at this post on the HOA in downtown New York City. It was like 15 grand a month. Like, bro, you guys are straight thieves. <laughs> I 
I mean, and then the house, like, who's doing this shit? It's probably some homeowner. Like, in most of them, like, someone's like, oh, I can pay my mortgage by <laughs> running this HOA and you know, opting them. For, we got opt them fees. We got paper to loan service. Take a little cut. Take a little cut. Take a little cut. All sorts of people's rigging the system so that they can take a little cut, take a little cut, and then we all fucked. <sighs> you guys realize it's monopoly money, right? There's no difference. <laughs> I mean, except societally agreed upon. It's not valuable. It's paper. I mean, maybe the, some of the coins have some value, but... Money? It's gotta be backed by something. <laughs> Can't just fake it, fucking liars. Shit is valueless now. It's paper. And now we got Bitcoin. It's backed by artificial scarcity. Well, why is it valuable? Because we made it scarce. But you can make more. Well, not if we make it so we can't make more. So you're just making it that way. You guys know gold is non-corrosive. You know it's highly conductive. It's got all sorts of cool properties. Silver, same. Platinum, same. Bullshit? Not the same. Cryptocurrency? What does it have? It has like fields of elect of solar panels running Bitcoin farmers. Just it's just siphoning energy. Real energy that one day when society like runs out of resources and be like, man, we're kinda low on them resources. We should probably shouldn't have fucking used that real energy to make this stupid fake ass artificial scarcity currency that's only valuable because we made it artificially valuable. Maybe that was a bad idea, especially with the grid going down, since we can't afford with no no fucking resources to keep it going. What are we gonna do? Looks like we just wasted all that energy, and then we start really going back. I mean, maybe I'm wasting a lot of energy right now, <laughs> especially if this gets a lot of views. I mean, pop. I got, I got like a thousand hours of content a thousand hours of content per person that watches if they were to really like want to go through my content or at some fraction some significant enough fraction to get an idea of it like that's a lot of time energy too but it's still not the same this is electricity in a computer it's not like it's not the processing that it takes to make a Bitcoin. Like the, sure, it's watching a video, but it's it's not the same processing. Okay, and I'm I'm just making excuses for all the power I'm gonna make people waste. Although maybe it's not a waste. I'm at least transferring information to you. Into society so that it can be absorbed into the consciousness so that it can be saved and stored forevermore until we can no longer hold on to it. I mean, that has some value. 
This dude is so arrogant. Unless he's right, then he's just correct. And it's not a matter of anything except for a perception of people who don't know what they're talking about. It's kind of like a witch hunt. People don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They just draw conclusions. <clears throat> they don't know my background. They don't know anything about me. They just draw conclusions. They don't know that I've researched like 10 years at his computer researching after finding the theory of everything. They just literally don't know. And then they hear the things and they're like, oh, well, dude's just a fucking asshole. <laughs> He's a malicious account. Like, bro, this the kind of slander I'm gonna get? Just fucking wrong. Dude's name is Ethical Dumbass. <laughs> Literally goes by Ethical. You go by ethical, and the first words you ever interact with someone are slander. I was like, is this a fucking government agent? Like, this could, like, what the fuck is this? I've never seen a human being be like that. Just fucking first words. I'm not just like, Obama, you're and they start arguing. That's that's totally normal. But slander, that's that was like, bro. I see. I see. That has a hint of jealousy. Honestly, that's what that that's what that gives me. Vibes of jealousy. I'm like, dude's fucking jealous. Jealousy looked at that shit. He's like, nope. Deny, deny that I just saw that. Nope. Mm -mm. Malicious account. Surely, surely. Noob's gonna noob. All right, guys. I've ranted for a while. Added a minuscule of detail about. Um, process of Hawaii and its role no pun intended in opening the Pacific I was trying to find that image though where I basically said that this was attached to here this section was attached here and then this section to around here was attached over to here something and just down to like I think here or maybe here were physically attached and then like other stuff but the North America and Asia were directly conjoined here and also over here and over here and beyond and so if we look at the ring of fire, maybe let's fucking get another image that doesn't have that, that has more this one. Imagine. That a sphere rolls up this side like this thing rolls up this side between the two continents of North America and Asia North America with the pencil Asia rolls up through them where it runs into resistance and it turns and applies a force into Asia 
but it has now cut through between them because it rolled this way. So it contributed to cutting them apart and then it applies a force when it runs into resistance that leads to an arc opening. Literally like that. Deep. Forming the Aleutian arc. But that arc, just like this, was there already. Like it was there. And then it opened and exposed it like that. At least in part. I mean, some of it is formed newly. Because effectively this was just attached to here and this area is like newly forming. Possibly it was like between here even and got it folded out this way. Like if it did this between, uh, I pointed on my screen, between here and here opened. But then, like, another stretch was between here that folded out this way and attached over here, but stayed attached more so over here to, like, splay out like that off of the end over here. I mean, maybe the Hawaiian sphere went in here and then went down this way. Is that possible? And then this way, but at that point it was already opening. Went over here all while going like through this area to go to here. And then this portion moved away from up here to down here and shifted over here as this shifted down and over. Enough said, really. You look at a compass. This is not what plate tectonics says. Plate tectonic tectonics does not say that Asia, Eastern Asia, was attached to Western North America. And yet, <laughs> like, peace out. Till next time.